Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the status report highlight for the 6th of November 2018. Not much to show off from this week's status report but there's a lot of great information and with the upload of this video you may have noticed the experimental beta build was released. We put a new server up 100 slot thanks to Muzzy. Within an hour the server was full. I had to queue up on my own server. Crazy. Details for our server in the description below or on our discord so go and check it out. Everybody's welcome. Just remember to have fun. And today's status report is taken care of by Eugen all by himself. So let's take a look with the lead producer of DayZ, who starts by saying, We are listening. We know the last status report has started some heated discussion about DayZ. I'm going to do my best and touch upon multiple subjects you guys have pointed out and make sure your questions don't go unanswered. But first, I also want to celebrate a little bit, because today is the day that we updated the experimental branch with what will become the first beta update. And it's great, trust me. Going to put some gameplay from stream on the screen as we read this. The update itself contains multiple features and tons of content. Just to name the headlines, all new base building, new implementation of vehicles, player restraining, leaning and more. Eugen is excited about the first step to more polished gameplay experience and more end game goals to achieve. Farewell 0.62, 0.63 is fully taking the reins. Not only have we hit experimental today, but tomorrow we want to open to another floodgate. Since we're no longer working on old technology, the 0.62 version is now becoming a legacy to look back at and learn from. We believe we are past the point where 0.62 is a good first entry into the world of DayZ, so tomorrow we will be going through a cleanup in our Steam backend and shuffle things about a bit. The current 0.63 will be moving to the default branch, what we call the stable branch, as in the first thing that installs when you click on DayZ in Steam, and the version that most if not all community servers will run. 0.62 then will be moved to its own legacy branch for future reference. This will make sure that players coming back in will get in touch with the new version of DayZ and won't be facing a situation where they start up a game and cannot join almost any server due to version difference. That way we can focus on what the future of DayZ should be and we will deliver updates straight to you. Experimental and stress test branches should not see much use for the rest of the year and will be deprecated until we get to a point they are once again needed. Our goal right now is to focus on addressing issues you guys have been reporting and making DayZ fun for our core player base. With this change, we will release one more thing for you guys to play around with. DayZ modding tools. Yes, it's happening. While they definitely can be considered experimental, your early feedback on the toolset can help us shape the future of the DayZ platform and game alike. Tools will be available as a free download on Steam and will also be supported by our new DayZ launcher to organize your DayZ experience. The launcher, familiar to those of you who tried Armor 3, will be useful not only to do with mods, but also for work with startup parameters, server and tools after the tools package stabilizes a bit. With the DayZ tools release, we will be opening the Steam Workshop for you guys to share your creations in an easier way, accessible in one central place. TLDR, if nothing goes majorly wrong, 0.63 is moving to stable tomorrow, and we begin our beta development, the march towards a stable 1.0 release. With 0.63 stable branch and community server owners updating their servers with all these new features we introduced, I wanted to touch on a few more things that are about to happen in the upcoming weeks, as that's certainly something you'll be very curious about. Server browser changes and update schedule. The server browser is getting an overhaul based around a new technology that we developed together with our online services team. The gain with this implementation is that you'll be better able to tell if a given server is running a modified version of DayZ, and at the same time, the implementation will make the server browser feel more aligned with the rest of the UI design, which is by no means polished yet, but at least a basic direction has been set. Related to the community servers, at least for the rest of the year, we're trying to go and have a fixed schedule of weekly updates so that server owners can be ready for any upcoming game updates. Fixing, tweaking and polishing. The upcoming bug fixes and tweaks will be focused on many of your complaints over the years. We read almost everything you guys post across social media, including especially those comprehensive lists for 1.0. And I just want to say we know these things are important to you. While features are in, their functionality is often broken. We know that's what makes or breaks a game, and now is exactly the time to get that fixed. During this period of stabilization and iteration, you'll see the game change around the details that matter. A balanced pass is ahead of us, and while it's certainly not the last, it will definitely be a first one that will fix a whole lot of the inconsistencies you guys experienced over the years. 
Just as an example, I'm going to use the fix of misaligned guns that is already in experimental, caused by either using a vehicle, going prone, or using free look. We're also going to go over some of the issues that bother you a lot, like hit registration problems or changing your key bindings. Let's go. Feature and content freezes for beta slash 1.0. With today's experimental update, we have released a huge amount of items that were not available in game before, and while some of their functionality might be bugged, these specific cases will be tackled in the bug fixing, polishing and balancing push. What's in the experimental build now is the list of items we want to hit 1.0 with, and anything else we've talked about in the past will be post 1.0 content released as free platform updates. Addressing the current most pressing issues, there are some hot topics currently resonating in the community, and I want to touch upon some of those in more detail. As these would make the status report visually even longer, we're going to put those into a separate forum post. Links to that will be in the description below if you want to check it out in more detail, but these are the topics covered. Item renaming, hit registration, changing key bindings, bloom post-process effect tweaking, and FPS drops. Now for the elephant in the room that has to be talked about in a proper manner. Previously, Eugen has said that he wants to write up his own thoughts after talking to you guys on various channels and criticism that has ensued after the last status report. And here it is. Why go for a 1.0 release this year? There were two choices here. Either we miss our 1.0 deadline or we miss content parity. Both are bad no matter how we look at it. I seriously believe for the health of DayZ as a brand, as a game, we have to move in a direction of stable and reliable gameplay. The core DayZ features are already in the game now, and the devil is in the details. We have to make sure those core features work as they should first and foremost. Not only are you missing out on some really cool things in the game because of the current implementation of features is simply broken. Additionally, we also have to deal with development on a game platform that is simply not stable enough for us to continue without losing our minds. Can you really have a polished, stable 1.0 version of DayZ by the end of the year? There's not much time left. Yes, unless we believed that, we wouldn't have chosen the option to hit the deadline. There is about a month of real development time left, and hopefully some of you have noticed we have started fixing some really pressing issues in DayZ over the last week as we have shuffled our priorities, and that is what deadlines do. They make you think twice about what is really important. While there are large numbers of issues left, only about 600 of them are crucial to make DayZ work as intended. We plan to do exactly that. Fix features, stabilize the game, and make it enjoyable after being weighed down by bugs for a very long time. There is a little bit more information on the status report, so go check it out yourselves as always for all the information that it contains. That is all for this week's status report highlight for the 6th of November 2018. All links will be in the description below. I didn't want this video to be too long for you to listen to. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you peeps next time.